by the BBC today because of uh, the problem that's inside it. Uh, can I just say stress, we're all, we're all here to be peaceful today. We, we don't want to be shouting at the scene of the building. There's people with children walking past, so let's keep it uh, nice and calm. I've explained to the guy's security that we won't be doing that. It's going to be nice and peaceful. So you can come here just to talk to each other. Uh, I'm going to be reading out a list of the names of the paedophiles at the BBC. Uh, we're going to do a silent protest. Anyone else that wants to speak is welcome to, but please keep it relevant to the cause and please keep it peaceful. So I'm going to start off now by reading out a list of the uh, sex offenders at the BBC. Yeah, and a little bit about them. Some of this information, obviously, is not available, and it says that here. So let's start with number one. We've got Terence Banks, uh, BBC floor manager and Queen's Verger. Uh, Philip Barlow, convicted two, uh, 2016. Uh, youth leader in Grace Bible Church. Salford, appeared on BBC Radio Bristol. Uh, John Bernard, former teacher of golfing and Blackmar School and musical director for BBC, two, uh, BBC Radio 2, Sunday Half Hour. Barry Bethel, 2009, DJ at BBC Radio Kent. Wilfred Brammel, 2012, actor in BBC Steptoe and Son. Andrew Brennard, 2010, BBC Radio producer. Michael Brewer, 2013, lead BBC workshops for the last choir standing. John, Cut John Cattle, 2016, former Grange Hill and London Burning Star. James Chalkley, former BBC and EastEnders actor. Gordon Clark, verger of Lancaster Priory, appeared on BBC Songs of Praise. Alistair Calling, 2009, former Castaway contestant and Conservative aide to Boris Johnson. Colin Cooper Davidson, 2016, BBC sound engineer. These are the dates they were convicted, by the way. Peter Crowsdale, 2019, BBC science producer. Graham Day, 2013, former BBC News editor and Salvation Army member. Peter Dean, former actor on BBC EastEnders, met his second wife when he was 29 and she was 15 and babysitting for an acquaintance. Wilfred Diaf, former producer, allegations dropped against him. Mark Deitch, 2016, former BBC executive. Chris Denning, uh, numerous dates, former uh, BBC Radio 1 DJ. Christian Digby, 2010, host of BBC's To Buy or Not To Buy. Bernard Dorman, 2018, actor in popular CB's, CBeebies programmes, Brum, still on Equity website. 2013, Gray Downey, Gary Downey, sorry, production manager on BBC's Doctor Who. Christian Dre, set up a missing persons helpline. Uh, 2005, sorry, he set up a missing persons helpline. Regular guest on BBC's Crime Watch to help find young runaways. Also a PA for Paul Gambaccini. Yeah. Kenneth Diamond, 2016, detective constable who appeared on BBC's The Met Police in London series. Luke Eames, computer shop owner, appeared on CBBC, C, CBBC's Newsbeat. John Earl, 2017, BBC Jackanory presenter. Christopher Ebbs, 2008, choir master whose choirs appeared on BBC TV. Nigel Edwards, former broadcaster with the BBC Hereford, Hereford and Worcester. Simon Hugh Evers, 2011, former headmaster of a Highgate Junior School and member of BBC's Audience Council, which monitors broadcasting standards. Alan Fluff Freeman, former BBC DJ, Alan Fossey, former D BBC DJ, Stuart Hall, BBC presenter on It's a Knockout, Rolf Harris, entertainer, 2014 conviction, appeared on BBC's Animal Hospital, as well as numerous other shows. Taylor Harris, 2016, the rapper was invited to Radio 1 by BBC, despite conviction for abuse. Stephen Jonathan, Jonathan Stephen Hope, 2014, former RAF police officer and football agent who appeared on BBC Radio 5 Live. Harry Owen Jeffries, 1994, lured young boys with the promise of acting work on EastEnders by James Chalky, the name mentioned earlier on. 
Damien Jenkinson, runner-up in BBC Young Gardener of the Year. By the way, we're about halfway through. <laughs> Jonathan King, BBC Radio 1 DJ, jailed for his involvement in use at the Walton Hop. Robert King, 2009, music director, orchestra conductor and BBC presenter. Chris Langham, 2007, BBC actor. Clifford Luton, BBC news reporter, false halted as he was deemed unfit. Rupert Massey, showbiz lawyer who abused a boy actor from BBC's Brain Chill, plus others. Massey went on to receive a payout for breach of his human rights. Derek McCulloch, voice of La Larry the Lamb, BBC Radio Children's Favourite. Craig McDermott, 2014, former BBC Radio DJ. John Nathan Turner, 2013, producer on BBC's Doctor Who. Jonathan Palmer, 2007, BBC Radio Advisor. John Peel, former BBC Radio 1 Kent DJ, uh, DJ, Radio 1 DJ. Roger Pond, 1998, former BBC Radio 1 Kent, uh, Radio Kent DJ. James Raven, 2004, BBC undercover reporter tortured, sexually assaulted, uh, assaulted and killed a man in front of his kids. Rex Reed, 1997, former BBC newsreader. Darren Robinson, 2013, appeared on BBC's Escape to the Country. Peter Rowell, 2012, BBC Radio Bristol. Stuart Rudd, 2010, BBC Midlands Today computer expert. Jimmy Savile, TV personality, Radio 1 DJ, friend of the Royals. He had a free pass around Buckingham Palace, if everyone remembers that. Great friends with, uh, with, with Philip. And politicians as well, friends of politicians. You all know about him. Darren Shearer, BBC engineer. Niven Sinclair, BBC yeah, chauffeur. David Smith, 2013, BBC chauffeur. Martin Smith, 2009, former BBC sports producer on Match of the Day. Michael Souter, BBC uh, DJ, BBC Norfolk. Fred Astaire, 2012, assaulted a girl when he appeared on BBC's Punk Kick, Jimmy Savile Show. Ed Stewart Stewart met his wife when he was 34 and she was 13. Ian Strachan, 1999, children's author and BBC TV assistant director. Ray Terrett, 2014, former chauffeur for Jimmy Savile. I also appeared with him on Top of the Pops. Dave Lee Travis, BBC DJ. Robert Turner, 2009, former music teacher and extra on BBC's EastEnders. This name, unnamed for legal reasons. BBC Four, uh, BBC Actor, sorry, another one, unnamed for legal reasons. Uh, the investigation into allegations of BBC executive was uh, used his Amsterdam flat to uh, film child, child abuse. Why is he not, why is he not named? Uh, Tony and Julie Wandsworth, 2017, former BBC radio presenters. Neil Weiner, assistant school caretaker and former, former BBC worker. Lawrence Westgaff, 2000, BBC TV and BBC Radio 4 broadcaster, received a community order, order for sex with an underage girl. Benjamin Wilkins, BBC producer, recorded sexual encounters after a secret camera hid, hidden uh, in a smoke alarm. And then 71, name number 71, Michael Willis, 2015, Radio 1 DJ, AKA Steve Mer uh, Merrick. Now, that's 71 names, but those are the convicted ones. How, how many more are I there? I missed that because I needed and, to look at the I'll send you this Why one. do they cover it up? I'll have to get it off that. I mean, we're here for children today. We're not we're being peaceful. We're not shouting opportunities to these people. But still, the press that we get and, and, and the negativity that they put towards us. And you've got to ask yourself the question, why are they doing that? Why, why are they falsely reporting on why we're here and what we're doing? That's not fair. That's not free free journalism. That's not free speech. You know, what, what, why, why are our words being twisted? We're here because of children. We care about children. That's why we're here. So please, if you're going to say anything about us, 
tell, tell everyone that we're here because the children who want everyone to know what we know. So, if anyone else wants to speak, if you can allow that, they like to talk, please keep it peaceful. We're here to spread a message of love. When so people God, spoke, careful. What we're going to do for five minutes is we're going to stand towards that building there and we're the going to do a silent protest for five minutes with our hands to our mouth. We've come here to be the voice for the voiceless. We'll have to fucking go. And their silence is deafening. And, and on that, if anybody wants to come out, come up and speak, we're quite welcome to. I'm Jimmy. Are you coming up, Jimmy? Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.